Good morning. Today we are going to start our next lesson. Uh, today we will discuss about variables. So we will discuss also types of variables. How can we convert one variable to another variable? And also we will discuss about classification of variables. So, first of all, variable types. We divide the variables that are used in PLCs in two types or two groups. So, first of all, we call the first uh, type of variable we call global variables. And next we call local variables. So, uh, if we speak about global variables, these types of variables are connected with uh, PLC programming modules. So, in, in other words, the global variables is the channels of real modules of PLC. As we see from this picture, we have some global variables as in one. This is the bool type variable, and this variable is connected with discrete input of controller PLC one one zero. This is the global variable, and also we have some output global variable as Q1. This is the also bool type variable, but first of all, we need to know this is the global variables which are connected with real channels or modules of real PLC. So next groups of group of variable is we call local. This is the inside the application program. As we see, these variables are created in program, and the numbers of these uh, variables are infinite. So it can be uh, infinite number. Uh, also, if we speak about global variables, it is uh, is not infinite, because uh, the numbers of these variables are connected with real numbers of controller channels. So, this is the main differences between global and local variables. So, how can we use these variables? So, let's, uh, let's solve the um, next problem. If we need to control the temperature of some oven with PLC, so we need to use some variables, we can use uh, a real elementary data type local variable as t used. This is the upper alarm for controller, and we need to use some global variables. As we see, this is the td a real type global variable which is connected to the RTT sensor model of real PLC as we see from um, this picture. So this is a, a simple example of the difference between local and global variables.
So let's speak about variable names. Uh, we need to use some instructions for declaring variable names. So first of all, we need to use letters and numbers of the English language. The name must start with a letter. Only single under scores without spaces. You cannot use reserved words and operators, for example, and, var, word, program, etc. The latter case does not differ. For example, in this picture we can see uh, some variable names and data types. This is the local variables, as we see uh, first variable var1, var2, td, and variables var3 and var4. This is the local variables and according to this recommendations we used uh, such names and uh, this is the example of uh, variable names of global variables as we see from this picture it can be as power underscore 11, water 2, g1 to 4, temp underscore 12. This is the main principles of declaration of variable names. So next we will speak about some classifications of variables. So we have two types of variables. This is the retain and constants. Variables that retain their values are indicated by the keyword retain. These variables retain their values even if there is a power failure, turning off and on of the PLC, which is equivalent to the reset commands. So, constant variables are indicated by the keyword constant. They can be declared locally or globally. So this is the example how can we declare retain variable and this is the example of constant variables which we use in our programs. So, next topic of our lecture is direct addressing mode. Direct addressing provides a way to directly access a PLC-specific memory area. A direct address is formed from this prefix. Memory area and size prefixes in one or more integers separated by a dot. For example, memory area prefixes means next, i inputs, q outputs, m data memory, so size prefixes, x one bit, known one bit, b byte, w word, d double word. So how can we direct addressing mode? For example, this records mean that we use this bit in the output area. So this record means that we use this lines of word in the input area. So this is the record of using byte 7 in the output area. This is record is connected with using uh, 
special memory in PLC. This is main double world in memory position 48. This is uh, bracket means depends on the PLC configuration. So from the picture we can see how can we use direct addressing mode. So let's talk about how can we name the variables with Hungarian notation. Hungarian notation is an identifier naming convention in computer programming in which the name of a variable or function indicates its intention or kind and in some dialects its type. So the original Hungarian notation which would now be called EPS Hungarian was invented by Charles Simoni, a programmer who worked at Xerox and who later became chief architect at Microsoft. The idea of Hungarian notation is to add short prefixes to identifiers, it means variable names that define the type and some other important characteristics of this variable. So, B means bull, by means bite, C means cent, R real, W word or unsigned in, I int, example, B stop. This mean B stop variable has bull type. This variable, as we see, according to Hungarian notation, has type word. And this variable has elementary data type in from this, from its name. This is the how can we implement Hungarian notation in our programming text. So, next topic of our lecture is conversions of data types. Converting variables of one type to another type is performed using special operators, type conversion functions. This operator uh, realize, as we see from this slide, in accordance with this record. So, for example, if we need to convert one byte variable to another variable with elementary data type real, we need to use this operator accordance this formula. So if we need to convert int data type to real data type, we use this operator. It's very simple, but we need to use in our programs. So it was information about variables, how can we uh, use it in our programs. Uh, we discussed about main types of variables, it global variables and local variables. We discussed about uh, differences between these types of variables and we discussed how can we declare the different types of variable. In declaration we need to use name according to some recommendations of the standard uh, and also we can use some types of variable uh, types as class 
classes as retained or constant. So I want to say thank you. I hope that this information will be useful in your programs. Goodbye.